Now we move to the 195 pound class. Ryan Moore on the mat here for Chapin. No points, good little scramble situation. I know Moore's a brawler. He's a straight ahead kind of tank brawling wrestler. But this Belt and Honey Path kid looks uh, like he's cut from the same cloth. So this should go, oh, a little action off the mat. And that is Caleb Bowie now on the mat. These wrestlers this are fired up. This is going to be a good match. Caleb Bowie, left of your screen in red for Belton Honeypath. Sophomore, and Blendage, and excuse me, Ryan Moore for Chapin. Out of bounds. And back to the center circle. Both of these wrestlers really amped up, it seems, Bill, and they're, they're going at it. There's some nail-chewing intensity out on that mat right now. They're both looking for a scrap, and that should make for an exciting match. Shooting in is Bowie. Ryan Moore does a good job of and gets a extending reshot. his base. Nice reshot by Chapin. Needs to finish here. He's Trying to take him to his back there. He just really needs to settle him down and get his points. There, he should get points here. Trying to roll him over for the pinfall, but Bowie able to slip onto his stomach, but back points indeed for Chapin. Nice job by Chapin. Uh, started that off on a reshot and just kept with it. Nice position there by Ryan Moore, but Bowie is able to hop up and run away. Now moving in to the center circle. Ryan Moore pushes Bowie back. Ryan Moore doing a great job of evading that shoot. And they're calling, they're calling Belt and Honey and Pat Stalling for, for fleeing the action. Close match, though, 3-2 to two is your score. Waning moments of the first period. Tell you what, these two wrestlers are just getting after. Oh, very nice hot fireman's carry by Chapin. Excellent. Got BHP leaning into him, pressuring into him, and then hit that fireman's carry for the takedown at the buzzer. Big points for Chapin. Good two-point pickup there for Ryan Moore. And... The Eagles lead five to two. And Coach Wilson uh, for Chapin is telling his wrestler to settle it down a little bit and, and conserve his energy. I'm sure he's he's worried about it, all the energy that they're expending out there, not wanting them to run out of gas by getting too fired up and getting in bad positions. Second period now. Ryan Moore and Chapin leading five two. Moore seems to be more of the aggressor here in this match. Bill. It seems like it's turned that way. I think Belton Honey have passed, started out very aggressive, but now, you know, he's got a little bit of the fight taken out of him. He's letting shape and control, but he's got to be careful. He's already been warned for stalling for backing out of the mat one time. He's got to stay in the center and, and keep working. And there he is. He's hit again. And that's a point for Chapin. Six to two. Loud Chapin fans here behind us encouraging Ryan Moore. Moore trying to. Better be careful here. He's got to keep his hips up. He should just come out and face here. Give up on the position or he's going to give up the takedown, which he did. Good move there by Bowie for BHP. And now Bowie's got to be careful. He's Moore starting to has the leg. He's starting to come out to face. He's got to readjust. He needs to try and drive into Moore and, and flatten him out keep control here. He's getting a little too high. He's, he's looking for backs. He might get it. No, Moore's got his head. This is dangerous yes. for BHP. If, if Moore can keep sucking that head in and, and circle away and pop his head out, he'll get the reversal. Or the stack. Comes out with the reversal. Very nice job by Chapin. A lot of good mat awareness there to know where the BHP's head, kid's head was and, and to work his way out of that situation. Yeah, excellent ankle move. Going over the toe 
Ryan Moore showing good hustle there, Bill. I think we might have some blood on the Chapin wrestler. He might have gotten a pick up a cut. And he'll have five total minutes of blood time allotted. And as soon as the blood flow is stopped, they'll stop the blood time clock. Ryan Moore comfortably ahead right now. Eight to two with 27 seconds remaining. Chapin picking up a huge pinfall in the last match by Cody Brundage. That was really big for Chapin. Very big for Chapin. And they, and they were looking for some bonus there. Uh, they needed it after they got upset at the 170-pound uh, weight class. You know, White comes over to check on Ryan Moore. And Moore is ready to go. 27 seconds remaining here in the second. It seems that Ryan Moore is starting to wear down that BHP wrestler. I think so. They, both wrestlers have expended a tremendous amount of energy in this match. They came out so hard against each other, just brawling in the first period. Bill, as far as the off-season workouts go for these championship wrestlers, do you prefer just a lot of cardio, a lot of morning runs? I think during the season you do a lot of cardio. In the, in the off season, if they're not training for a particular event, um, really just working on polishing up their technique, teaching them some new technique, and getting them in the weight room to improve their overall strength. Because once you get into the season, it's a lot harder to, when you're cutting weight and you're training hard, it's, it's harder to get a good lift in. So you're really probably not going to improve on your strength. You're just trying to maintain. So during the summer, they want to lift a good bit and really work on technique. And then uh, during the season, they're going to do a lot of cardio work with running and with just uh, up-tempo practice. Bowie mounting Ryan Moore. It's Bowie for BHP in the red on top. And he's got to look for some. Uh, he's got to look for some back points here. Chapin had just got called for stalling. But to be honest, Belton Honeypath has got to get some back points here. They're going to win this match, and, and they've got it. it in. He did. Oh, how about that? Wow. Out of nowhere. Wow. What an upset. Big upset. Big upset, and, and, and Moore's kind of stunned. He doesn't think his shoulders were down, but the ref called it. Big upset. 